This is Cars All the Time, Car Search Engine. I am G, your host. Go ahead. I'm Kelly, the co-host. And we are in Costa Rica, as you can see behind us, the ocean back there. Wow. It is gorgeous here. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. beautiful. And we're having a great time right. today. And uh, we're, we're going to tell you a history of another car. And it is humid out here. I'm hot. sweating. Sweating out here. Very hot. So... I tell you what, what car do we have to, here today? Yes, we have a 1967 Yanko Camaro. Now, Yanko was a, sh yes, I like it. Yanko was a car dealership in Chicago, Illinois. It's Yanko Chevrolet. And uh, so the guy, he, uh, he, he went through this with the first generation Camaros. The, the, when the Camaros debuted in 1967, uh, corporate, the GM the corporate said, we're not going to ha have an engine larger than 400 cubic inches. So this put a Camaro at a serious disadvantage to the Fords, Plymouths, Dodge that had such a limit. Admittedly, Ford only had 390 cubic inch Mustang in 1967. With Carroll Shelby producing the 428 police interceptor equipped Shelby GT500. Now, Don Yanko, however, knew there was a market for an ultra-powerful Camaro and found ways around the GM limit. The GM limit, like I said, was the 400 cubic inches. Now, what did Yanko order? Yes, he ordered 104 Camaros with L78 396 engine and swapped them for a L72 427 and a four speed stick shift. Now that will get you down the road quick. Yes, it will. <laughs> yes, it will. Now, now, as you see the Yanko right there, it is a gorgeous, fast, fast little car right there. The cars came with a 410 rear end heavy duty suspension. The, and uh, so the fiberglass replacement hood, similar to the Stinger hood, featured in a only 1967 big block Corvettes. Okay, the transmission was an M21 or M22 transmission. The horsepower was rated at 450 horsepower. Yanko Camaros were not allowed to race for the Chevrolet on the drag strip because they were not made by Chevrolet. Ooh. Ooh. So Chevy's answer to this was a Copo. Copo Camaro or Central Office production order. That's what Copo meant. Wow. So in 1969, the Copo Camaros were equipped with a 427 engine and allowed to race with Chevy. And Yanko could not. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that something? I know. Uh, now, a total of 201 cars were sold in 1969. 171 with four-speed transmissions and 30 with automatic transmissions. Now, the 2005 recreation of a Yanko, not a real one, would be $31,900. Wow. Now, today, well, not today, 2014, they sold for $220,000. $220,000? Yeah, they're going way up in price. Oh, wow. You know, and... Uh, so, the Yanko was unreal car. Uh, now today, 20, 2016 today, these cars go for 350000 today. Can you imagine 350000 That's a lot of money. Yes, it is. And that sounds like our show for today here in Costa Rica. Rica. See ya! Yeah.